but not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing since he has been running away from me for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that because this thing has been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the... But he is here. And it's our responsibility to find out. So Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened, but not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert at any point. You can even call for an emergency and we'll reconvert. Because we would not like what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. We won't take it this time around. We want a situation, we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit, and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination. No Distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues. <laughs> okay. My people in Benin say that they not say make Peking not get, no be crime for Peking to get sh shattered, scattered teeth. So for me, you get big lips to cover her. Kemo, you are beating more than you can chew. You see, Anna, away you cannot. There is nothing even your house. This is Fesos Kayamu, who by last minute grace, what name was smuggled into the uh, the ministerial nominee list. Now they don't appear before uh, Senate. Senate don't push one. You stay. Flogger come up for them. You get her. Why? As much as I must agree that I'm not a fan of Kayamu, neither am I a fan of the Senate. Of course, because I can't imagine the Senate president. You were inviting somebody for a former screening program. And this is the kind of eulogy. You are serenading a nominee. You are, I don't know, think I'm now. It's just like, because I know you, and I am supposed to have a formal process of screening or dating or, or interviewing you, I will follow you. That's what uh, distinguished senator uh, Abadio did here. Watch it. He's uh, a distinguished son of the Niger Delta and uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria. A, an advocate for justice and a man who believes in excellence. My dear brother. So ask yourself, how does this work as a city senate president? Somebody is before you to be screened. To know the except if you say the screen is a formality. I know this politics will be played. Probably may be revisited. They will either give him minister or they will give him a, a job elsewhere or settle him with a contract and all that. But I'm telling you, this exposes the kind of political, uh, the people we have in our political spaces. A lot of them are lawbreakers. They don't have respect for the rule of law. They don't understand due process. They don't respect separation of power. They are a hundred percent anti-people and anti-democracy. Who nominated him? You know, this same, this same, this same 47-man list uh, nominee that has 41 persons that are under ESCC investigation. That have had e Baggages and cases with ESCC. Former governors, several senators, people that their that their character and it's not because I'm expecting anything for Tinubu. Out of their brothers of the heart, mat, the heart, the mass picket. He doesn't have anything to give. He probably doesn't even know what to do. It's just like this picture that's been trending for a while, where uh monkeys invaded the vehicle and then two child of everywhere, but they cannot drive. That's what the APC has done to this country since 2015. That's what Nobu is doing now. Now, Kayamu, who is a lawyer, and that's how Ahun Duwaka, the, the former uh, Attorney General Foundation under uh, Maru Musa Yaradua, held this country hostage with, uh, with Yaradua's wife when Yaradua was late. And that's one of the bad, the, the bad era. That's why some of us, as much as we respect Yaradua, we felt really bad. There was really no reason who did the country to host it when they were legal, legal procedure according to the constitution. And that's what I keep saying. What does the constitution say? Our political class do not respect. So the laws in this country are meant to be respected by the poor and the masses of the masses. 
But our elite, they work in And that is not a friend of Nigeria. He's a friend of a, 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 a particular circle. But this embarrassment is what it is. Watch this video and share this video. Let it go around. Let it be said that the same family, they are fighting each other. Because they are not for us. Senate has not been for us. If Senate, if Senate is for us, they will not be screening retired, expired career politicians to come and be ministers while we are in a state of comatose in this country. I leave you to decide that. Make your opinion count and share this video. Of the Constitution, 1999 has amended. Can I tell the leave of the Mr. President to read out, sir? Thank you, Mr. President of the Senate. My name is Darlington Mwokocha. I speak for the entire Nigeria, Petabia Central in particular. Mr. President, I want to read section 88, 1, A and B, but I'll anchor my position on B. Let me start from one. Subject to the provision of this constitution, each house of the National Assembly shall have power by a resolution published in its journal or in the official gazette of the government of the Federation to direct or cause to be directed investigation into any matter or thing with respect to which it has power to make laws. B, the conduct of the affairs of any person, conduct of affairs of any person, authority, ministry, or government department charged, charged, or intended to be charged with the duty of or responsibility for executing or administering laws enacted by National Assembly and disbursing or administering monies appropriated to be appropriated by the National Assembly. Mr. President of the Senate, I'm aware that this National Assembly and this arm, the Senate, has three major mandates. One, lawmaking, secondly, oversight, and thirdly, representation. And I know quite well that what we are doing today is a continuation of what we did yesterday. And I'm happy to have the nominee here present. And he has said wonderful things. And which of them he said that he used instrumentality of law, which he is part and parcel of, to advance the cause of justice. And I know quite well as well that this House or this Senate usually use the instrumentality of legislature to advance the cause of fairness. Mr. President of the Senate, I want to bring to the notice, because I've been a two-time House of Assembly member, two-time House of Rep member, and today a senator. And I was in the Eighth Assembly of the House of Representatives, and the Ninth Assembly, and today I am here. And I know that our rule book does not in any way exclude the continuation of free will drive of one section to the other. Having said that, Mr. Senior President, I want to bring to the notice of this house that sometime in 2020 that an issue came up. And that issue was the uh, public works program. We all welcomed it with open hands because this is something that will help our people. Today we are talking about paying 8,000 to some people to make sure that it will alleviate poverty. Then, it was the amount of 20,000 to 1,000 persons across the 774 local governments, which my local government is part of it. And I'm sure your local government is part of it. And today, 1,000 per each local government minimum, 20,000 naira, has a great multiplier effect that will make our people cushion so many effects that would have led our people into a very greater height. But what really happened? At a point, we wanted to carry out our responsibility because if some people can use the instrumentality of law, which they find themselves within the confines of their own authority, to advance for all their justices, 
why can't we use the mentality of the legislature to support our people and help the populace which we represent? Then, at that point, we invited the nominee because this thing has been a subject of controversy and public debate, which I don't know. We wanted to know and give him fair hearing. Please tell us because it's now within our own confines authority to know what happened to our constituents. Say, please come and tell us what really happened. What is the structure? What are the indices you are using to carry out this thing? Because our people will hold us responsible and accountable. And when he was invited, what we are talking about is a 52 billion naira appropriation and the right of appropriation resides on the legislature. That is our right. And I know quite well that the right of oversight resides on us because we have to hold you accountable for whatever thing we appropriate to you. It is our right. Yes. And when he was invited, he expressly told us to the public that we want to hijack his role. That we want to blackmail, blackmail us that we are corrupt. That we want to hijack his role. And I know that he midwife the process. Nobody's against that. He midwife the process and this falls within his own area of operation as the uh, junior minister for uh, labor and employment. Highly welcomed. And not only that, he went as far as in the public line to say that when he was asked, how, which indices did you use to gain this? He said, in quote, they are not from the moon. That was too arrogant to answer Nigeria in that way. Because we're talking about what we support and help our people. That is why we are here. Anything outside that, I will walk away from this chamber. My interest, your interest, and the interest of everybody is our people. That is why we are here. Not whatever thing any person is saying. And today, we need to find out, Mr. Senior President. Well, nobody is stopping him from being cleared. No. And I'm happy the way the uh, president has sent so many people, great people here. We have questioned them, passed through the screening, wonderful people, and we're ready, as much as they are ready to work with the, uh, the, the, the system, we're ready to clear them. But not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing, since he has been running away from it, for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that, because this thing had been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the... But he is here, and it's our responsibility to find out. So Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened, but not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert and they do for you. You can even call for an emergency and we we'll reconvert. Yes. Because we would not like what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. We won't take it this time around. We want a situation, we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when this is left so that you can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians I have perfectly done well because this record has been put straight. That is my submission, Mr. Senior President. I rest my case. Uh, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, uh, the point of order raised by the point of order, the point of order raised by Senator Darlington Ugocha is noted. But on the motion, there is no seconder. Let's find out first. Senator, uh, uh, there, there's a motion on the ground. If you want, you can, you can second it and amend it, whatever. Uh, I, uh, so if there's no seconder.
leader, leader, leader of the Senate, the point of order had been noted. Now he also proceeded to move a motion, which has not been seconded. So, okay, okay, Senator Abadebe, let me hear you. Thank you, Mr. President. Arise to second the motion very ably moved by Senator Darlington Wokocha that in view of Section 88B of the uh, 1B of the Constitution which mandates the National Assembly to go ahead and look into the conduct of affairs of any person, authority, or ministry. And where such a person refuses and deliberately stays away from letting the National Assembly do its work, and in view of the fact that this nominee rejected the summons of both the House of Representatives and the Senate, that I do support that this nominee should be stepped down pending when he decides that the National Assembly has that right to inquire into the workings of a minister and his ministry. I so second. Uh, distinguished colleagues, the, the motion has been moved and seconded. Those who are in support of the motion that the screening of the nominee be stepped down on the further inquiries. Say aye. Aye. Those who are against, say nay. Hey.
Mr. President, point to order. Prepared to stretch the rule to even asking for division. 
but we will not go without that. Without the Senate, without us right. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'm very, very distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I at this time move that we dissolve into an executive session to be able to uh, iron out some issues. Uh, but uh, before that, I get my first motion should have been uh, based on order eight sub three of our rules uh, to move for an extension of time for this Senate to be able to sit beyond 2 p.m. Uh, this should have happened some 30 minutes ago, but for what was going on. Uh, so, sir, please take it down. My first motion right now is a motion for extension of time based on order eight uh, sub three of our rules to enable us clear the other items on the other paper. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to second the motion that will extend our sitting time to beyond two o'clock to enable us to continue today's proceeding as well second. And and uh okay. The socialists, the motion do late has been moved and seconded by the minority leader that this August Assembly do extend the sitting time beyond 2 p.m. Those who are in support of that motion say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. Our sitting period is extended beyond 2 p.m. Minority leader. The Senate leader. Is this your confession? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues. Um, I move that uh, we resolve into um, an executive session to enable us uh, uh, a closed session, closed session, uh, otherwise also known as executive session, to uh, help us uh, iron out some issues. Thank you. I rise to second the motion that we resolve into a closed session to discuss a very important issue in regards to the screening. I so second, Mr. President. A motion has been moved and seconded that this Senate do resolve into a closed session to iron out some issues of national concern. Those who are in support of this closed session as moved say aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. The Senate will now revert to a closed session. The press will leave us and the nominee will leave us for a while while we discuss.